Hi, so I just wanted to take you through some basic stretches and exercises for lower back pain. So as you can see here on the spine, this section is where we're going to be working on today. A lot of the time people have quite an extended lumbar spine, so we just want to work to get this opened up a little bit and we're going to talk you through some stretches and exercises you can do today to just get this lower back opened up nicely and moving in a better way. So the first one we're going to look at is really simple, super basic. All you need is a yoga mat on the floor or you can even do it in bed and you're just going to go flat onto your back and then nice and relaxed, literally just going to bring the knees up to the chest and we're just going to be hugging the knees for about 30 seconds. So super, super easy. Anybody can do it. Shouldn't cause any pain or discomfort at all. If you're struggling, you can do one at a time. So one knee up to chest, you can have the other one bent so the foot's resting on the bed or the couch. And we want to just have a nice gentle pull. Don't want to get any pain in the groin here. So if you're getting pinching or experiencing any discomfort here, just ease it back off a little bit and we're just going to hold it for a few seconds, ideally somewhere between 25 and 30 seconds and then just relax down nice and slowly and using your breathing as you stretch. So as you breathe in, knees up to chest and then as you breathe out, just sink nice and deep into the stretch until you feel that gentle pull. One tip, try not to bounce when you stretch. Often you see people bringing the knees up and they start bouncing. Try and avoid that one if you can. Another tip, make sure you've got a pillow or a couple of pillows here to just support the neck. So we don't want to be straining the neck as we stretch. We just want to have that neck relaxed, have the upper part of your back relaxed and just nice and gentle again. So a couple of things there to remember, no bouncing and just make sure you've got the neck supported well. The second stretch we're going to look at today is just very, very basic and simple as well. So we're going to be taking the knees and feet together and just dropping the knees to one side. And as we drop to the left side, we're going to stretch the arms out and look to the right side. And again, just going to be holding it for about 25 to 30 seconds. And then nice and easily, and we're going to go back over to the other side and stretch the arms out the opposite way. Again, make sure the head and neck are supported and no bouncing when you stretch. Deep breath in, and as you breathe out, just sink deeper into that stretch. So the third and final stretch we're going to look at today is just to stretch out the muscles around the hip and into the top of the glutes here as well, and specifically a muscle called piriformis. So all we're going to do for this one, you can do it in a seated position. We're going to cross the ankle over the knee, and we're just going to gently push the knee down towards the floor. So sitting up nice and tall, make sure that posture's in a good place first. And just one little tip, if you bring the toes up towards the knee, it'll just help protect this knee joint a little bit as well. And you should feel a nice, gentle stretch around the hip and into the glutes on the right side. And obviously we're gonna do both sides. Again, 25, 30 seconds, use your breathing, try and relax, and push gently into the stretch, no bouncing. You can also do this stretch lying down. So again, head and neck are nice and supported. We'll do the opposite side this time, just to even things out a little bit. So ankle over to knee, pointing the toes up towards this knee to just protect the knee joint a little bit. And we're gonna just gently push the knee away. So this time, getting a nice, easy stretch here through the outer part of my hip and into the top part of my glutes and just working on that piriformis muscle. 
again, 25, 30 seconds per stretch. Nice, deep breathing as you do it and just sink gradually into that stretch a little bit further. If you want to take this one a stage further, you can again cross ankle over knee and then this time pointing toes up towards the knee to protect the knee joint a little bit. I'm going to take the hands, interlock fingers behind the opposite knee, again relaxing neck and shoulders and then if we bring this one up to the chest, it just makes that stretch slightly stronger. So there you have it, my top three stretches for lower back pain. Feel free to message me directly or book in for treatment if you need to. Please like the video today and hit follow and I'll look forward to seeing you next time.